This slide should probably not be why environmental law. Everyone has to abide by the law, but how does environmental law affect us? How are engineers accountable? What risks do companies have? And how do we prevent environmental degradation from a legal perspective? In South Africa, the main environmental act is NEMA, the National Environmental Management Act. This act states that reasonable measures should be taken to prevent pollution and environmental degradation. This includes educating employees to avoid environmental harm. While not a law per se, many companies also strive for the international ISO 14001 Environmental Management System accreditation. This shows that they are in compliance with environmental adherence and striving for continual improvement. The consequences of not adhering to environmental law is similar to the consequences of breaking any law. This could include imprisonment, fines, negative perceptions, and the loss of your job. While environmental law may have taken off due to the Industrial Revolution, it was after the Stockholm Convention that environmental law issues came to the fore. As with all law, environmental law has various aspects. These range from legislation through common law to religious-based systems and international law. To determine which part of legislation has precedent, a hierarchy is established, from constitution all the way down to local bylaws. If a matter is not specifically governed by legislation, common law would apply. In South Africa, this is based on Roman Dutch law, which can be interpreted from case law. The highest law of the land is the Constitution of South Africa. While this deals with basic human rights, equality and measures to overcome unfair discrimination, there is also provision for the environment. Every citizen has the right to an environment that is not harmful to their health or well-being, one that is protected, where pollution and ecological degradation is prevented, and conservation is promoted. Various Acts of Parliament exist to protect the environment. As already mentioned, of particular note is NEMA. The Act aims to protect various aspects of the environment, promoting environmentally and sustainable development for all. Additionally, there are other potentially relevant environmental acts. These include acts that deal with conservation, living resources, pollution, and other aspects of environmental management. The relevant act could also include legislation that deals with resources, water, animals, and more. Since this course also deals with occupational health and safety, there may also be acts related to these topics that could be applicable. Lastly, each province and city may have their own legislation and local bylaws that may be applicable.